So today I have another fun haul to share with you. Um, so this is kind of another kind of collective haul, just some things that I've been purchasing recently. Just have been really active on Listia recently. Um, if you're not familiar with what Listia is, I will put a link down below. I've done several videos about Listia. Um, but anyways, I've been very active on Listia recently and I won a couple makeup related auctions recently that I wanted to share with you guys. The first thing is this Maya Mia palette. And this is what it looks like in the outer box. Um, I was really, really excited to win this because I only have one Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I have the Catwalk palette right now. And I do really like that palette, so I was excited to try another one. Um, and then this one is inspired, if you're not familiar, this was inspired by the YouTuber Maya Mia. And I love her videos. Her makeup is always flawless. She is very, very talented makeup artist. So um, I was excited to try out this palette which I think she like helped co-create this palette. So anyways, this is what the palette looks on the, like on the inside. And it comes with these 10 beautiful shadows. And I think they're mostly mattes. There's a couple shimmers in here, but mostly they are matte shades. And the pigmentation on these are really, really amazing. I actually did use this palette today to create the eye look that I'm wearing right now. And I just really have been loving this ever since I got it. I've been using it quite a lot. It's just a really nice palette. Um, it's definitely got more like spring and summer types of colors in there, but it's very versatile. There's quite a lot it can do with this palette. So I was excited to get this. And I only spent 20,000 credits on this, which is a super good deal because that's about $20. So I was very excited to have won that. Okay, and then I also won a, another um, like beauty lot um, auction. So there was a bunch of stuff in this auction. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this with you guys because um, I was a little disappoint disappointed when it arrived. Uh, so if you're familiar with Listia, you'll know that you are, it is against Listia's rules to list any makeup that is used in auctions. Um, there are certain things that can be used, um, like, you know, a cosmetic cosmetics bags or um, you know things like that but as far as makeup anything that is applied to your face has to be brand new so when I bid on this auction um, it didn't state anywhere that it was not new items so I made the assumption since Listia has a rule against used makeup that everything was new and when it arrived it was very clearly not only used makeup but a lot of it was completely used up or in um, condition that I would not even try to clean it and keep. Um, if you watch my channel, you know I don't have a problem with certain items being used makeup. I do purchase from Glambot and um, things like that. I don't mind it as long as it's something that you can sanitize properly, but a lot of the stuff that arrived was like dirty and gross, so I wouldn't even bother with it. So I ended up throwing a lot of this away already, but I did want to show you a couple items that came with the lot that I actually was able to clean up and I am excited about. The first thing is this Urban Decay brush. Um, I did actually clean and sanitize this, but I used it on my makeup today, so it is dirty, but that is from me. I did clean it as soon as I got it. So this is the Urban Decay Optical Blurring Brush. I'm pretty sure this is the brush that comes with the Naked Skin Foundation from Urban Decay. And um, I tried it today on my foundation. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. The brush itself is extremely dense, very, very soft. It feels like it would be a great brush for foundation, but I had a little trouble with it this morning, and it might just be the foundation I was trying to use with it. I was trying to use a Revlon foundation, and then I didn't like that, the way that was going on, so then I ended up switching to, switching to another foundation, but um, I wasn't really excited about the way that my foundation looks today, so I'm gonna give it another, another try and try a, a different formula and see if there's another foundation that I like better. But I was really excited to have this in the auction. That was really the main thing I was bidding on when I bid on this anyway. Um, the other thing that I am going to save is this um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. This is in the color Chaos. So again, this was used, so I have not yet because I did just get this, but I will go ahead and sharpen this so that any old used product will be off of there and then, the, then it will be clean. I'll sanitize it and it will be usable. 
So that's something I will keep. And then a lot of the rest of this, I honestly am probably gonna throw away. I already threw away a little, um, had a Urban Decay Primer Potion in there and it was totally dried up and disgusting. So I already threw that away. But like this Clinique pencil I will most likely throw away um, because it's not only clearly been used, as you can see, but um, I don't know, it just doesn't look like there's that much product left there. So I will most likely be throwing a lot of this away. So I had this Clinique pencil, there was another Clinique pencil, both in the same condition. It came with a pair of mini Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers, which I will go ahead and clean up and sanitize these. Um, it came in this little makeup bag, which is where I'm pulling it from, which was dirty inside, so everything inside of it was dirty. It's kind of grossing me out to even touch it, to be honest with you. <laughs> you know, I was really disappointed when this stuff arrived because I was like, okay, it's obviously used. It's not supposed to be, but alrighty. Like this right here. Ooh, gross. There's like a cat hair on it. Oh, I might edit this whole thing out. I don't even know. You guys are going to be so disgusted by this whole Listia thing now. Yeah. If you're on Listia, do not, do not post makeup like this. This is clearly used and definitely not supposed to be even on the site. All right, I'm going to move on because that is grossing me out. I'm sure it's grossing you guys out. So the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is a purchase that I made from um, allcosmeticswholesale.com or ACW for short. Um, if you're not familiar with it, I will put a link down below again for another video where I talked more in depth on this particular website as well as um, did another haul. So it's a great place to go online and buy um, high-end makeup at a discount. I went ahead and purchased a few items because they were doing another sale. I like to go on there when they do their sale on their clearance stuff. So there's always a clearance section on the ACW site, but um, every once in a while I will get an email saying like everything in the um, clearance section is an additional 25 to 40% off. Um, last time I placed an order with them, I got 40% off everything from the clearance section, and um, this time it was just 25% off, but I still got some really, really good deals, so I was excited to share it with you guys. So the first thing I picked out is this MAC eyeshadow, and this is one of the larger ones, and this is what it looks like. It's just a really nice, um, kind of a neutral beige color. Let me swatch it for you guys. So that's it right there. It'd be good as either like a highlight or just like a lid color, kind of a neutral lid color. The name of this is called Peekaboo. And then I also picked out one of the smaller um, MAC shadows and this one is called Mira's Mood. And it's just a really nice light pink. This could almost even be used as a blush. It's just a really, really pretty, almost like a Barbie doll pink. I also got this um, MAC eyeliner. Um, and the name of the color is I Get No Kick. And it's just a really nice nude color. I actually picked this up to try to use for like a waterline. I just think it'll look really nice in the waterline. It's, it's actually got some shimmer to it, which is kind of nice. I really like it. I don't know if you're gonna see that very good. That actually would be really, really pretty as like an, um, a brow highlight too. So I really, really like that color a lot. Thing that I picked out. This came as a set of two. You'll notice this a lot in the clearance section on ACW. Um, read the descriptions carefully because sometimes it will say two piece of something. Um, so you actually get two of the item when you buy it. So like this one is the Soap and Glory Lip Balm Mighty Mouth. Um, so it's supposed to be like a collagen plumping lip balm. And I, like I said, it came as a set of two. I think I ended up paying, well, I think it was like, um, like $11.99, I want to say, for the two of them. But then I got my 25% off of that price. So I thought that was a good deal for two. So I've never tried these before. So I'm excited to give that a try. And then I have an extra one to give away as a gift. With the holidays coming up, I thought that would be a good idea. All right, next I picked out a couple of cargo eyeshadows and I do not really own that much from cargo. I don't know if I own anything from cargo yet. Um, but I found a couple of these eyeshadows that I wanted to come out and they came or try out and they came in these little single tins. This one is called Cocoa Beach and it's just a really nice basic chocolate colored matte shadow. There's that right there. 
And the other one that I got is called Bermuda. This looks like it would be a really nice lid color. It's kind of like a shimmery peach. It's actually, wow. I love the pigmentation on this. It's beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. It's kind of blending into my hand right there, but that's it right there. It's got just enough shimmer to it, not too much, and it's really, really pretty. And then the last thing that I picked out while I was on there is from Smashbox. Now, I thought that these would be way too dark for me, but I wanted to get them because they were such a good deal, and my mother-in-law um, actually wears a much darker shade than me, but I am wondering if these are going to be even too dark for her, so I might end up doing a Listia auction for these because I don't even think this is going to work for her. But anyway, so I got two foundations. This is another one that came as a set of two, and they're from Smashbox. They're the High Definition Healthy FX Foundation, and where does it say the color? I want to say these were like medium... Three, I want to say. So I can't remember exactly. But anyway, obviously they are way too dark for me. But like I said, my mother-in-law, I thought they were going to work for her. I'm going to have to show them to her because um, I think they're actually going to be even a little too dark for her. But Okay, so I feel like I got a really good deal when I was on ACW this time. I ended up spending, I think it was like $45 after shipping and tax and everything. And I got a lot of stuff. So I'm really, really excited about that you have any um, suggestions for videos that you would like to see or requests, please leave them below. And thank you guys so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. I will see you next time. Bye guys.